Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of the MCR Mac and Me. My name's TJ, and in this segment, uh, wanted to touch on uh, some developments, our thoughts, just review a little bit uh, this second assassination attempt of Donald Trump. I'm sure everyone's heard about it by now, but just to review, this happened last Sunday, uh, 15th of September. At around 1.30, might have been 1.31 p.m., I'm not, I'm not exactly sure of the precise time. A uh, guy by the name of Ryan Wesley, uh, he had what is believed to be an SKS. A lot of people are saying AK, when in fact it uh, appears to be an SKS equipped with a scope and a Monte Carlo stock. And to give you an idea, this is what an SKS looks like with a Monte Carlo stock. He also had a 30 round magazine uh, on it, similar to that. The only difference between his and mine was that his had a scope and my, mine has a rear peep sight, which, which works really well, I would tell everyone. Anyway, uh, he, had an, he had an SKS. It shoots the same cartridge caliber as, a, as an AK 762 by 39. For those not uh, super familiar with ballistics and whatnot, that particular cartridge and caliber is not that good for long distance. 400 yards is almost the maximum, uh, assuming that the individual has a, has the firearm properly zeroed and is of decent, uh, uh, he's practiced enough or a decent shooter or however you want to phrase it. But uh, what it, I guess what had happened was is uh, he he was in the bushes uh, uh, in perimeter and the bushes on the other side of the fence to the uh, Trump International Golf Club. And uh, Trump was a hole or two away and the Secret Service were basically bounding one to two holes ahead of Trump. OK, and as they were bounding forward to the holes that uh, Trump would come up to play. Uh, well, they they caught they found the guy, and uh, I guess they saw the barrel of his SKS poking uh, through the fence. They immediately engaged. Uh, Trump was three to five hundred yards away, they estimate. But uh, had Trump continued his play, he would have been much closer, putting him easily within the range of the guy's SKS. Uh, so, you know, I guess a good thing. Uh, Secret Service caught him before Trump got got to the next hole to play. Yeah, uh, my understanding is in that they and they had immediately fired on this guy. Yes, yes, immediately engaged, and the guy dropped his gun, uh, fled the scene, and really the only reason why he was apprehended was a bystander, witness, Good Samaritan, a guy who had his wits about him. We'll say. Uh, got the picture, took a picture of his vehicle and license plate and immediately turned it over to the police. And very quickly, he was arrested on Interstate 95. Actually, so, uh, I, heard it was, I heard it was a woman that, that did that. But Well, I'm saying guy in general. Oh, oh okay? okay. So yeah. I wouldn't dispute a woman. I, I was speaking in generic terms. I guess that makes me well, a sexist. I, I want to uh, <laughs> give the ladies their credit because this, oh. really, this person really stepped up. Yeah, you know what? He who's you know what? What if the guy had, had the firearm firearm on him? You know, I think yeah. about that, and and I even thought about that. I was like, ooh, that was pretty ballsy of that person, because because what if he was still armed? You know, you don't want your picture being taken. You know, uh, no, no, not not in that uh, not in that scenario. He could have easily sh shot her. Yeah. Uh, as they, you know, after they apprehended the guy and began to inve investigate this this whole thing, they found out that the guy's cell phone was pinging at 2 a.m. in the morning, and meaning they they are pretty certain he had set up 12 hours prior, almost 12 hours, you know, what we could say 11 and a half maybe, but about 12 hours prior, he had put gotten himself into position and was just kind of lying in wait to ambush President Trump. Uh, here, here comes the really messed up part and something I for sure wanted to touch on in this segment. The media is blaming Trump. Of course. You, you, heard, 
you heard that, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, everything is his fault. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, you, know, you know, it was it, it, Donald Trump is a suspect in the Lindbergh uh, baby kidnapping. I mean, and Christ's well, crucifixion. You know, uh, when they when they captured the guy, he didn't deny it. In fact, he said he did it because Trump was a threat to democracy. Where did he get that line from? Yeah, I you know? wonder. Yeah. yeah, where did he get that line from? Uh, uh, he also was me... going to video. He was going to videotape it too, probably so he could sell it to MSNBC and Joy Reid. Well, either that or somebody. The guy, the guy's a real nut job because. Well, I assume that. Yeah, but yeah, but he was uh, he was overseas over in Ukraine, trying to recruit Afghanistan fighters to fight in Ukraine against Russia, you know. And I mean, you know, and and here's the thing: he was such a loose cannon. Even Ukraine basically said, and I'm going to paraphrase here: "Thanks, but no thanks." You know, even even Ukraine uh, suspected this guy's not playing with a full deck, and they just kind of said, you know, see you, thanks, you know. Uh, so he fashioned himself a, or appears to have fashioned himself a mercenary. Well, something. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, here, here's where the plot thickens. This golf outing was what they call, you know, I, to use a Secret Service term, OTR, off the record. No yeah. one... I guess the list was really short that he was going to go there and golf. So how did the guy know he was going to be there? Well, I did hear an explanation from Megan Kelly, a plausible explanation on that, that if he's in Mar-a-Lago, he goes to one of two places, one of which being the place he was at. So if you're, if you're going to do such things and you know, he's going to be probably in one of two places, it becomes a coin flip then or, the obvious is that uh, someone on the inside leaked the information and uh, that, you know, not only did they leak, how, how do you know who to leak it to? Well, th unless, just, you're part, uh, unless you're a part of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the thing of it is, and, and it almost sounds like, you know, and here's the thing. We don't really know it, whether it was a last minute, Hey, I want to go golfing or what. I mean, uh, it, it that the press didn't know he was going to be there, and and from what I from what I hear, where this guy set up to to uh, we'll say ambush Donald Trump, it that that particular area is notorious for media types hanging out because that's where they can get the best photos of him or whoever golfing there. Right. Uh, but uh, you know, the, back back to the you know it's Trump's fault. You know, they're, they're saying, uh, you know, because of his rhetoric, you know, what did he expect as if as as if he had it coming? And, and, and you know, and, and they're saying, you know, I say they, they you know, the uh, leftists and, uh, you know, the Democrats, you know, if if uh, if we disagree with them, uh, well, then uh, it, it, it's all our fault is, well, is really what they're saying. Yeah, and anyone who doesn't go in lockstep including Robert Kennedy uh, Jr., uh, you're an extremist. Yeah. When have you uh, ever heard the term left-wing extremist about uh, Joy Behar? I mean, unless we're using it, uh, uh, who else? You know, D Dan Bongino went down, and I'm going to use one of your favorite words, a litany. Uh, Dan Bongino went down a litany of video where uh, Biden was threatening uh, to kick Trump's ass or take him out behind the barn and and uh, right. you know he he's the type of bully i'd punch in the nose if i you know and, if i could lift know, my hand up you know it, you know let's let's see who can do more push-ups you know like i mean he went down a whole list of stupidity of uh biden's as far as uh, you know you're talking about violent rhetoric you yeah. know uh you know not 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 to mention uh uh obama uh Basically saying, uh, uh, if they go low, you go lower, or, or something. I believe that, that was Eric, I believe that was Eric Holder who said that. Actually. Okay. Well, you know what? He was in Obama's administration. Yes, he was. So, you know. And he's, uh, you know, and the last I checked, he was still in contempt of Congress. Yeah, really, big time. 
Uh, so, uh, you know, now the Secret Service is basically saying, we don't know if we can keep Donald Trump safe at this point because it's become that dangerous. Now, think about this. Who's who's out there sunbathing on the beach for days on end? Yeah. Yeah. You know, they can keep him safe on a beach, but they can't keep Donald Trump safe. Well, uh, I, I heard uh, Donald, Trump, Donald Trump Jr. say, hey, the bullets are only flying one way. Yeah, really. Big time. Uh, and and speaking thankfully, of, thankfully, no one's shooting Kamala Harris. You know, I and and at the, at the last minute here, I'm inclined to throw in a, a suspicious event from uh, this last Trump rally. Did you hear about 20 people having to go to the hospital? No, I did not. Some some kind of this is not confirmed. They do not know the cause, but right off the bat. I suspect it's some kind of low level chemical attack. Okay. 20 people in the stands behind Donald Trump had to go to the emergency room uh, for, with respiratory issues. Yeah. And, uh, and I got that out of the gateway pundit too, for those who wonder where I'm getting that information from. But uh, you know, when I started reading this and I was actually, uh, speaking with one of our subscribers, I said, I said, man, this is like a chemical attack, you know, yeah, some kind yeah. of a chemical agent, I you know, be, I wouldn't be shocked. So the details are very sketchy on that. Other than why would 20 people that close to Donald Trump have to go to the emergency room with respiratory issues? It's that's, right. that is, that's beyond coincidence. I would, I would tell you. Yeah, so, that's that's, uh, that's certainly a, a big oddity. Yeah. So uh, you know, you know, there are there is no bounds with 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 the, these people on the left. Uh, you know, and to the Democrats, they really need to make sure Trump stays alive. Yes, you know? they do. I mean, yes, they do. You know. It's, they really need to make sure nothing bad happens to him at this point. You know, he gets, he gets, uh, takes one to the ear a couple months ago. Then this past Sunday, a guy's laying in ambush, uh, to get him, And, 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 and all they do is, well, you had it coming, you know? Uh, yeah. You know what? And then what they'll they got spin, spin, spin the story any, any way they like later. Yeah. So uh, that, that, that's all I got, you know, because I'll, I'll devolve into a rant here, get myself all worked up and go into a rant. So I'll I'll see why I still have my wits about me. OK. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll call this one a wrap unless you get anything else. No, that'd be it. No. All right. We'll call this one a wrap. Thanks, everyone. We'll catch you in the next segment. As always, be safe. Watch your six and don't tread on me.